안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. On this video, we are going to learn how to do password authentication correctly. Chances are that sometime in your life you are going to have to implement a password system and it's very important to do it correctly. So on this video, I'm going to explain how not to do it and how to do it. Let's get started first with how not to do it. One way of doing password authentication would be to just save the password on the database. This password is right there. Anybody can read it, it's just exposed. So anybody that has access to the database, like the database admin or the staff can just read the password. That is not a good idea. What some companies do is that they encrypt the password so nobody can read it. And when the user tries to log in with the company key, we decrypt the password, we compare them, and if they are the same, we'll proceed with the login, and when we are done, we encrypt the password again. This method is more secure than the first one, but the problem is that if you lose the key, or if somebody steals it, they can just open all the passwords from the database. And again, not good news for your users. What you can do instead is to use something called a hash function. A hash function takes an input and returns a really crazy output. There are three things that are very important about hash functions. First, hash functions return the same output with the same input. That means that if the input doesn't change, the output is not going to change even if you run this function one million times. Second thing is that even if the input changes a little bit, the output is going to change a lot. So even if the only difference between these inputs is a number, the output is going to change really, really much. Now, the third thing is that hash functions only work one way. That means that with a pretty input, you will get an ugly output. But if you have an ugly output, you cannot get the pretty input. So having said this, what you can do next time you create a user account is that you are going to hash the password that the user gives you and you're going to save that password on the database. So now if somebody reads your database, they won't be able to see what the password is because it's just incredibly random and ugly. Now the problem here is that we have something called a rainbow table attack. And this is that, for example, if somebody copies this hash, yes, they don't know what the input is, but they can copy this hash and they can look it up on a rainbow table. Rainbow tables are just collections of hashes of easy passwords. If the input doesn't change, the output doesn't change, what the attacker can do is that they can just copy a hash and if they find it on the rainbow table, the rainbow table will tell them, hey, this hash is produced by this input. So go ahead and try that password and then this is when people get hacked. So to make it even harder for people to hack you, we introduce something called salt. So what salt is, really, really tiny random piece of text. So next time that the user is creating an account, what we are going to do is that we are going to hash their password with a little bit of salt. So that is going to produce, again, another random output. We're going to save that output. And even if the password is very easy, this hash is not going to be on the rainbow table because we hashed this input with a little bit of salt that is a really really random piece of text. This is how you protect your users against somebody looking at their password or against somebody finding the hash on a rainbow table just by using a little bit of salt. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned a little bit about passwords and hashing and salting on this video. Let me know if you have any questions on the comments. Also, I really enjoy talking about security. I started my career as a programmer by hacking and fixing.
So I really enjoy talking about security, cryptography, and all that stuff. Let me know if you would like me to keep talking about it. And that's it. Thank you so much for your support. And as always, don't forget to be happy, to be smiling, to eat kimchi. And that's it. Sarangheo, kamsamnida. Bye-bye.